Swerving, switching lanes The wind, the whole dash Make the car start to shake A bottle crash Gatteries, my destination Going hella fast Seems like it's levitating Always headed where the money be I'm riding by myself Not literally Cause I'm always accompanied By the heat be cautious for you approach me. Nobody else. I can ride by myself. I be smoking by myself, so I can ride by myself. What's the word? This is the bottom show, episode nine, and it's your boy AR Cucinata. Like, comment, subscribe, and when you subscribe, hit that bell. And with that being said, let's start this show off. First and foremost, I want to talk about the Travis Scott Sixes. Date has been pushed back to next month. It's supposed to have came out this Saturday, the 14th, September the 14th. So be expecting the shock drop, just like the other ones. And I heard that the ones that were supposed to be officially dropped got sent back. So be expecting the shop drop for the low top ones, goddamn me. And shit, I was really looking forward to the motherfucking um, Travis Sixes, goddamn me. I missed out on them. I've seen them once. I know I talked about me getting the motherfuckers. I didn't do the footwork. I didn't do what I was supposed to do to get the motherfuckers. So I didn't get them. Right now, they're not reselling for much. Maybe 50 to $60 over retail. That's not much. I could get them, but I'd rather wait. Goddamn me. I'd rather wait. Because I was looking forward to them Travis Sixes. But since them come out in October, I know for sure that I'm definitely going to do the full work to get them Blue Gang 12s. That's right. I said the Blue Gang 12s. Not the Flu Gang. Them Blue Gang 12s. And since I've been talking about them Travis, let's talk about the Travi 1s, man. Let's talk about the Travi 1s and 2Js. He's selling... Infant or baby Travi ones. He call them customs. And we all know they're not customs because they didn't come out with baby ones. But the Travi 60s do got a kid size running Travi 60s. So did they see the videos that have been posted or is they listening to smaller YouTubers? Or what what's going on? You know what I'm saying? And if they is, I feel like I need to put my input in on it. And I feel like 2J is full of shit, bruh. Like, how you gonna sell? You supposed to be a legitimate nigga. But you selling foo-foos out here. Goddamn me. You selling monkeys. You selling scoops. You selling UAs. And you saying they customs. You saying they reels and shit. I ain't cool with this shit. If you got a fake... Tell them it's a fake. And y'all already know how I feel about the fakes. There ain't really no fakes. If you got a UA, tell them motherfucker it's a UA. And then my whole thing was the nigga was selling the motherfuckers for 200 Like, come on, bro. That was more than what the fuck I paid for this. This was 175 plus tax. It came out to 190 He's selling more for a fake ass shoe. Then what I pay for this, and this is a real shoe I got from Sneakers Out. Look at my fucking videos, bro. Like, I was blessed to get this. I went through a whole lot of bullshit. Almost 45 minutes to an hour worth to get in there, motherfucker. I wish I would have recorded the video the first time I wore them bitches. I hooped in them and everything. You hear me? Like, shit. It don't, it don't even look like I, I wore them motherfuckers for real except for the toe box. Like, yeah, I, I hooped them and everything. Shit crazy, man. Shit is fucking crazy. But since the motherfuckers coming out in October, they give me time. Let's stack some money up. Stack some money up. Stack some money up. So that's enough with the 2 day shit and the motherfucking Travis Scott shit. And I want to talk about the motherfucking NFL started. The motherfucking NFL started this past weekend. Matter of fact, this past Thursday. And my guys, my Green Bay guys, they won their first game. Everybody was talking about Chicago this, Chicago Bears that. They supposed to be representing the NFC motherfucking North. They going to end up going to the Super Bowl and them niggas got waxed. Trubisky is not 
the motherfucking answer. No, no, no. Trubisky is not the answer. Aaron Rodgers, my nigga, AR-12, is the greatest quarterback in the history of quarterback. Like, hey, I'm leaving that up for a debate. Like, if y'all want to debate me, leave the shit in the comments, man. Hit me up on my Instagram. Hit me up on my Facebook. It's all the same. AR Cucinata. A R C U C I N O T T A. You hear me? A hey, so for debate. Tom Brady do got the most championships, but he is not the greatest motherfucking quarterback. Just like Bill Russell got the most championships, but y'all say he is not the greatest player. Some argue it's Michael Jordan. Some argue it's Magic Johnson. Some argue it's Will Chamberlain. Some argue it's Kobe Bryant. That's me. Some argue it's Shaq Diesel. Hey, it's all up to debate. Because at the end of the day, these motherfuckers never played against each other. They never played in different eras. So it's all up to debate. And it's all about the eye test. And with my eye test, Kobe is the greatest. And Aaron Rodgers is the greatest. That's just my opinion. And with that being said, my Green Bay boys did win. And I see that them Dallas boys did their thing. So all the Dallas Cowboy fans out there, talk y'all shit now. Because I put $100 down right now. Hit me in my DMs on Instagram or Facebook. I got $100 right now that the Cowboys is not going to fucking win the Super Bowl. Them bitches is not going to make the Super Bowl. But I got $100 Right now, for anybody and everybody that want to bet me, the Cowboys is not going to win the Super Bowl. No, they're not. I'll take my glasses off with a straight face. The Cowboys is not going to win the Super Bowl. $100 right now. El Cuchinata. Snapchat. Instagram. Facebook. Cash App. Hey, $100 right now. Hey, Green Bay, my nigga, since 97. Since Brett Ford won that bowl, you dig? Hey, I've been a motherfucking Lakers fan since the same time, since Kobe got drafted, you hear me? I just, Lakers was on top. I was a kid then, and I just gravitated towards them, you hear me? Purple and gold, green and yellow. You know, this buzz for you. It's your boy, El Cuchinata. And since I want to talk about my favorite teams, the Lakers. We got AD now, baby. We got baby Brian Brian last year. I was never a Brian fan. I respected what he did when he won that 16 championship because he was the nigga. He was the man. If y'all watch that 2015-16 playoff run with Cleveland and LeBron, he was that nigga, bro. You got to give him his price. Whether you don't like the man, whether you don't respect the man, whether you feel some type of way about him, you got to get a nigga his props. And that's what I do. I get props where props do. And if you play for the squad, bro, I fucks with you. If you leave, if, like I said, if I like you, I might follow you some more. But if you fuck with the squad, I support you. D. How? Motherfuckers should know how I feel about him. Fucking Steve Nash. They fucked us over. Excuse me. Kobe. Yeah, I remember them niggas came over. Supposed to be that shit. Didn't pan out. Fucking Steve Nash. This nigga, we had to stretch out and lay out on the floor when he wasn't on the court, man. I know y'all remember that shit. Like, this nigga was laying out, getting stretched. Like, come on, man. Then D. Howard, like, bruh, you better have that motivation. I seen you did the dunk off with Chris Staples. Salute to fucking Chris Staples and the dunk league champion. Like, hey, salutes. Bro, you better bring that same fucking energy when the fucking season started, motherfucker. You better be that same D12 that brought Orlando to the championship. You better be that same D12 Superman that won the fucking slam dunk contest. You better be the same motherfucker I just seen on that video doing the slam dunk contest against Chris Staples. That's all I got to say. I am Lakers Nation. Me. In the flesh. A.O. Kuchina. And since we talking about the NBA, 2K did drop this past weekend. 
I think it was a Thursday or Friday. It dropped on, like, if you um, pre-ordered that motherfucker, you got it a day early. I did pre-order it, but by me having a regular PS4, it did take for hellas to fucking download and get on the system. And I was kind of pissed, so the first couple days I didn't play. But now I'm on that motherfucker. AR Foes, capital A, capital R, dash, four... O E Z, you can add me on PSN. And hey, we out here. 2K Nation, baby. I am on Madden too, so PS4, if you want to add me, AO Foes, it's the same handle. I was going to change it to AO Cuchinata. I'm still thinking about it because they was like, if you change the name, certain stuff wouldn't continue on with your name like if you download some games if you pay for some shit basically if you put some money into the name that you had before when you change your name and you play the same game you might not have the same stuff that you had because i don't really want to start over from scratch but i thought i'd change my name but i did so it's AOR Falls on psn and it's lake ignatius green bay oh also St. Louis just got an MS, MLS team, a soccer team, expansion team, the Battle Hawks. I think that's what they call them. And so we coming, we coming for that soccer crowd. Hey, we we about to be a sports team. All we need is a couple billionaires to come through this motherfucker, bring football back in this bitch, bring a little basketball back in this bitch. Cardinals is in the first place. St. Louis Cardinals about to bring the ship home, man. Lakers about to bring the ship home. Blues already brought the ship home. Green Bay about to bring the ship home. And I'm betting on all my teams. If y'all want to put some money up, hit me up in my DMs. Instagram, Facebook, AR Cuchinata, same handle. Like I said, this is the episode, bottom show, episode nine. My bad, I kind of got a little freezed up. This is the bottom show, episode nine. This is your boy, AR Cuchinata. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'm signing out. Hey, stay swerving, switching lanes. The wind, the whole dash, make the car start to shake. No bottom crash, gatherings, my destination. Going hella fast, says like it's levitating. Always headed where the money be. I'm riding by myself, not literally. Cause I'm always accompanied by the heat Be cautious for you approach me Nobody else I can ride by myself I be smoking by myself So 